Yo, Vaisant here. So I want to go over my build that I use for the campaign. I'm in Act 1 crew mode now. Uh, so, so I'm just going to talk about how my build went as I went through that campaign. And it's going to be about the Chaos Monk. All right. So I did a poll on Twitter. I know I'm always going to be playing Monk. Okay. Only Monk too. And I'm biased toward martial arts and unarmed. So that's how it is right now. And I did a poll to which uh, ascendancy I want to go to, either Invoker or Alkalite, and people chose the Alkalite. So this is going to be the Chaos Monk, Alkalite, Chihula, and the way it's going to work is I want to build around this Mantra of Destruction, getting that 10 combo so I can convert my move into Chaos, right? 30% of that go get into Chaos, so I'm going to build around that Chaos damage. So in order to build combos super fast, um, I need a fast attacking, so a fast attacking move, so that's what that's going to be. I need a way to get in and get out, right? And need some big DPS to activate after this. So in the beginning, I actually started with the Volting Impact, all right? The, the Volting Impact was what I was using to do my big attacks, and then I learned about the Tempest Bell. So this build is around the Tempest Bell. The Tempest Bell is OP. I feel like if you're using a monk build, um, contrary on the Tempest Bell, man. I I don't know what to say, man. It seemed pretty good. Uh, I do want to work on a different build afterwards where it uses more of curses and stuff. But right now, this is pretty golly. Okay, so the way that the bell works also requires combo. You get like four points. And then you drop it down, it does damage, and then every time you hit the bell, it does AoE, and if you do elemental to it, it'll do a, that corresponding debuff. So my build that I'm using currently is that my dash and move is the Hand of Chifula. And then my combo move right now is the Whirling Assault. And then I have Wave of Frost to jump back. And to jump forward, like to jump away from mobs, I have the Volting Impact. And then the Tempest Bell is the DPS. And then the Monster of Destruction is the buff for that DPS. So, uh, the way I started off with, because Warning Assault and Hound Chula and Monster Destruction are like super end kind of champagne skills, I start off with the Frozen Lotus. All right, Frozen Lotus is what I start off with. That's my jump back attack. And I was using Volting Impact to like jump in, right? And then I was using like these staggering palm and killing palm to do my dash attacks. All right, until I get the new hand. And then until I got Fro Wave of Frost, I was using Frozen Lotus to do my jump back and put up a wall and stuff. So I was using this and then I unlocked Tempest Bell. And Tempest Bell was summoned and the way to get combos is I'm using Tempest Fury. So the way that Tempest Fairy works is it does four hits, right? And the third hit does three times. So you build a lot of combos way faster than Ice Strike. So that's why I get, I prefer this one is instead of Ice Strike because Ice Strike only hits three times. It's a lot slower. This one's a lot faster, especially when I want to get the combo 10, right? So I'm building towards that. Um, so I also like Wave of Frost more because it actually has more build freeze up. And this sometimes doesn't hit unless you blow up the thing, right? But it's a good wall. So a lot of it with me was re running using this as using it as the wall. And then finally when we get Hand of Chikula, I put some curses in and I went ham with that uh, for the chaos. And then you run into mana problems later. So uh, I do want to mention you do want mana leech, right? Mana leech is the main thing you want to go for. Uh, and then once you get a warning assault, you take off Tempest Fury and you go straight into this one. This build up combos way faster. This hits way faster than this one. So you knock the bell super fast, right? And you build up combo super fast. That's it. All right, let's look at my gems that I have here. Uh, so let's go through with both the impact. I'm using Fist of War because I don't use this that often. And when I do, I just use it. Uh, I wanted to use it on a bell, but it doesn't go on a bell. <laughs> and I have Holy Descent, so this made it more of a support skill. So this actually puts uh, AoE healing on the area, and also curses that are on you get 50% reduced. So this is more of a support, so I get in, I can help ally or heal myself, right? I usually use it to emergency anyways, to like jump in and out of mobs. Uh, Wave of Frost. I have Glaciation, which I want to build freeze. So this is mostly used to build up freeze and just step away. 
Uh, and then I want rage so I can build extra attack power, right? This builds attack power based on the amount of rage you do. So I just have that to build up rage. This is just mainly a support. Uh, I'll go over Tempest Bell later. Uh, <coughs> we're going to go up Hand of Shakula. I mostly just put in all curses. I do want to put the spare in here, but the spare root does require a lot of int. So I haven't gotten that point yet, but that's the one I'm aiming for um, to get the spare so I could put to get a lot of int so I could put the spare because the spare actually lowers the chaos resistance. So this one just makes me want to nerf them. I'm just putting curses on them in case I want to do like hex blast and stuff like that later down the line. But the important one curse you want to put in that you can get is vulnerability. And then um, this is not a curse, but frost freezing mark is actually OP. So this allows you to put the after an enemy dies, it just blows up and it does cold damage and could free, potentially freeze more things. Okay, and, but this allows them to freeze build up more uh, on the enemy. So you just mark them and then you just jump back with this to put more freeze and just build up freeze if you want to build up freeze. I also have ghost stance as my main spirit. Right? This is just for defensive purposes. Um, and then I wanted to concentrate on just living. This is just allowing me to live more often. And I'm running fast forward. So this, I get the sh uh, ghost shrouds a lot faster. Um, so I built around a mantra of destruction. There's not many support gems out right now that are like useful for this. But the important one you want on this mantra is the premeditation, which empowers the supported skill or skills that are empowered by this get 15% more damage. That's just straight up 15%. You can be using this whenever you can before you do your bell, okay? And I just put this Mercer's Intent, allow cooling strike. Uh, there's not much you can put on here. Like if you just look at the skills right here, um, let's see, so which support gem? Support gem for Ghost Dance. There's not much, even if you uncheck this. Um, you can maybe go for this while it's active, but you this is not gonna be active for that long. Oh, I know ghost ghost dance, right? I think you might be able to use clarity. This is maybe the other one you can go for. Um, but I don't have enough spirit. I don't have three thirty spirit that you get from that one boss, and I've been having that for a long time. So that's what I've been doing. All right, let's jump back to here. Uh, whirling assault. I have fast attack speed because I just want to build up combos. This is mostly used just for build up combos. Uh, and I want to have some kind of chaos stuff applied to it. Eventually, I do want to use chaos. No, I think the bell wants that. But one of them is going to use that chaos uh, gem. Where is it? Let's do this one. But that is like a tier 3 gem. Which is like co-infusion. So one of them is going to use that. I don't know which one yet. So that's that. Uh, but for now, that's going to be using poison. And since it hits super fast, it's pretty good. 60% on hit. And then I have splinter just so uh, I do break armor with it. Because I hit so often. Just want to just hit it and break armor. And then we have the Tempest Bell. Right? Tempest Bell is where your big deeps is going to be. And Tempest Bell, I'm going to be using Stun Build Up because I want to make sure the monster are there. They're going to get stunned more often. They get dizzy. It works well on uh, just regular mobs. And it does help in the bigger mobs. Uh, I do want the Magnify Effect. So this is the, the, the big AoE effect you want it on there. There is the Expanse one, which actually gives you 50%, but it gives you 6 second cooldown. 6 seconds is too long, man. I need, I need to activate it fast. <laughs> Cause I built up the combo and the bell's done. I did, cause I hit, I destroyed the bell so fast it just be gone, and I want to place another one right away. And then I have heavy swing, which is to give you uh, physical more damage. You can use close combat too. Close combat, nice. It gives you uh, twenty five percent more damage when they're closer to you, right? And most of the time you're up in, up in their face, anyways. Putting that bell down, and then doing the whirling assault, and then then um. I think that's mostly it, right? For the gems? Yeah. Ulting Impact, we have Fist of War, Holy Descent, uh, Glaci I'm just gonna go over it again. Right? Wave of Frost with Glaciation, uh, Rage, Tempest Bell with Stun Buildup, AoE, and Heavy Swing, Whirling Assault with Martial Tempo, 
and Venom and Splinter, then have Chihula, Vulnerability, Freezing Mark, and Enfeeble, soon to be Despair. Uh, fast forward with Ghost Dance. Uh, I wish I could put another one, but it costs extra spirit. <laughs> A mantra destruction, premeditation, and merciless intent. And that's that. Yeah, merciless intent. There's not much you can put on this, man. Look at that. Coming soon. Yeah. This one was what I was looking at, right? Merciless intent, life tap, inspiration. Uh, not much you can do here <laughs> that be helpful in the long run. So we don't need to worry about them, uh, the mantra of destruction for a while. And let's look at my passive tree. So I said see, I actually went to mana leech instant. And then I went to this reality rending because I want the extra chaos damage. But I think uh, my plan is to actually get this next. And then I'm going to get into the breach next. It would be nice to have this lucid dreaming, but you only get eight points, right? So you got to pick what, what you will. I like the extra chance, chance of extra chaos damage. So that's what I went with. So to start off with, I went down this route right here, right? And I got this uh, attack and cast speed. So I want to attack faster, right? I just want to just be faster. Everything speed damage. Um, I went some more defensive route at one point. So I got some evasion and energy shield. More speed, uh, more mana regen. Uh, I went down here to get more defensive perks at one point, but I didn't make my way down here to get my mana leech. And um, usually uh, the mana leech stuff kind of more important at like around Act Two, where I actually got mine runes. Uh, I'll show you later. Uh, but I went for attack damage down here. And then I pretty much curved this way, and I got these stuff right here for more damage. Uh, the important part is to actually get to this part where just all your damage just gives all your damage does extra chaos damage, eleven percent. So that's what you want to go for. Um, I also swung by here, and I got extra chaos damage right here. Um, there's some mana leech and energy shield here, so I picked those. I picked these up along the way of getting up here. So that's what I have so far. I know there is a mana leech down here that might be interesting, but that's kind of too far, and maybe that's like an end game kind of thing I want to go for. But the main plan now, after getting this filled out and get the wither away, um, I'm gonna make my way down this path and go to mine over matter. So our damage go to mana as a life first, so that's gonna be very good. Um, I believe there's a there's a chaos note somewhere around here. Let me just right here, and I'll probably pick these up along the way because I'm gonna deal with curses and stuff too. <laughs> you weaken them, and then you blow them up. So. For gear, the important thing is to make sure you have this mana leech in some case and form. If you don't have any, get some sockets onto your weapon and then get put some mine runes in there. Mine runes give you mana leech. That's the important part. Um, everything else is kind of up to you what you need. If you need some resistances, I'm running resistances. Uh, here's my stats. <laughs> resistances. Uh, the important part I like to go for is I like to go for g anything that have gains per second. So I don't have to be determined on killing anything, especially finding bosses. And I got these Thunders Steel Toe Boots that are pretty good. Give me movement speed and some lightning resist and some evasion. So this is what I've been having since the beginning. I've been using that. For charm, I have for slow. Uh, I don't really have a good belt to put in more. Uh, all these rings are mostly just for resistance. This one gives chaos damage. That was lucky. Uh, yeah. And then I want to replace it for more resistances. And that's pretty much my equipment build. Kind of up to RNG what you get. But the important thing is just get mana leech. Alright, for the way this build works is that you have a, the hand of Chula as your dash attack. And it applies the marks and curses to like debuff them. So then that increases your damage. Uh, and then you pretty much use the Whirling Assault. 
This one. You build up a combo. It builds up so fast. And uh, once you get that bell, you can place that down. But what you want to aim for is mantra before you put the bell. Because that will put 30% um, of his bell damage into chaos. And that also give you 15% buff because of this premeditation. It gives 50% more damage. So we have some other skills for support. So we have Wave of Frost for the back to get up. Um, so I do have Freezing Mark on my hand, Shigula. I could put the Freezing Mark. I don't have any mobs here. I kind of killed them all. Uh, let's go over here. You could put the Freezing Mark on them and Despair if you have enough int. I don't have it on me right now, right? I could easily just put the Freeze and jump back and dash. So one thing I do want to note is that there... You can you can roll cancel right so you could use this back flip and then roll cancel that back flip to more back roll right so you can get more distance that way right so i usually dash do this and then dash cancel to get that out of the way uh but yeah look how back you can build your combos with the whirling and then if you get mobbed you have the bolting impact to get out of the way so that's the mostly the use of this it's mostly to use to heal, like if you needed it last moment, right? You just get out in the middle of mobs, like oh shit, I'm gonna need to jump over there, and you can roll cancel, land and roll cancel. Oh yeah, I also want to mention that you have a bell, right? And sometimes you can't reach it. You can use the bolting impact to jump there, so you can start the combo too. Oh, this is another use of why I have multi impact instead of other things. <laughs> All right, put the mark here. You build a combo. You can put down the bell just for the heck of it. This is where most of your damage is gonna be coming from. Is the bell, the bell OP, and this thing hits so fast. Warning assault hits so fast. Oh my god, I'm getting. I'm in cruel mode. Okay. <laughs> so it's a little difficult. Oh, no, you want to hit this. You want to hit the bell. You want to make sure the bell disappears. I was thinking if I have more slots, I'll use uh, Overabundance, so I have two copies. But uh, right now, that's that's what I'm doing. But yeah, that's mostly all I use. I don't use any other skills. Right, Wave Frost to kind of just get some distance sometimes and hit. Uh, let's try it on the boss. Yeah. Come on, Druid. Alright. Put the mark on. You can drop the bell if you want. You want to make sure you hit the bell. The bell's going to disappear. It is what it is. You put it back up. Easy. This one twirling assault pretty much gets it going. Uh, it's kind of hard not to move, right? But get it back up again. Dash. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. You can even just roll cancel once you get that four. This guy teleports too much, man. Oh. Got a little... Got a little crazy there. Look how much damage I hit at uh, once. <laughs> Put this. Ooh, even more chaos damage. Sometimes I just want to... Gotta be careful. By pretty much two whirling assaults... You get enough for another bell and a mantra already. You stunned? Boom. Yeah. Crew mode. <laughs> I'm only like level 49. <laughs>